Good evening, and welcome to our Advent devotional. My name is Pastor Adam Meller, and I'm so glad that you're able to join us. As we get started tonight, I just want to take a few moments to remind you that we will be celebrating communion this Sunday at both churches and online, so make sure you have those elements handy or bring them with you to worship. We're going to be taking a special trip through this Advent season and looking at a series entitled, What Child Is This?, Obviously, that's our sermon series and worship series on Sunday mornings in Advent, but as well on Wednesday evenings, we're going to be following a special series uh, performed and recorded by the Skit Guys, and the church will be using that with permission. I want to invite you tonight to start on this journey of What Child Is This?, made famous after the hymn uh, that was published as a hymn 150 years ago this year. I want to encourage you, though, to take some time to reflect, what child does this mean to you? Who is Jesus to you? What are your connections to Jesus? Do you rely on Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, or is he just a really fun guy from a few thousand years ago? Tonight, we're going to be uh, focusing on the first person in the series, which is going to be Mary. I'm going to encourage you to center yourselves through these devotionals, maybe light a candle, curl up next to the Christmas tree, whatever it might be, so that we can reflect on these words. Now, before we hear from Mary, I want you to uh, kind of get in that reflective state by hearing some scripture that I found that I think speaks well to what Mary's going to share with you all in just a few minutes. We're going to take it from Isaiah 43, verses 18 to 21, that say this. Do not remember the former things or consider the things of old. I am about to do a new thing. <clears throat> do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The wild animals will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, for I will give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert, to drink, I to give drink to my chosen people, the people whom I formed for myself so that they might declare my praise. As we study what child this is, found in the manger, as we reflect on who Jesus is as an adult, I want you to kind of reflect as you hear these words from Mary of what do you thirst for? What is it that you are thirsting for in this time and in this season? Certainly our world changes moment by moment. Certainly, we have so many different things going on in our lives, busyness as we try to seek normalcy in the season of Advent and soon Christmas. What is it that you thirst for? What wilderness do you find yourself in that you are thirsting for something more? I want to encourage you tonight to sit back and for a few moments hear these reminiscent words from Mary. What child is this? I've asked myself this question some 30 years now, thirsty for the answer since the day he was born. What did I know then of great and mighty things? I was just a girl fetching water that day. The stranger appeared to me with those curious words. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. He must have seen the change in my face, the one I now know to be an angel. Do not be afraid, he said. You will be pregnant with God's son, and he will be great, this child, forever and ever, and he will rescue his people. That was the exact moment it was more than curiosity. I thirsted for more. I watched in silence as he was visited by shepherds and scholars, all with stories of angels and stars and grand pronouncements. One day, I found him in the temple. He was a boy speaking wisdom with men old enough to be his grandfather. And I am awed. And I am thirsty. And now, he has grown up, my boy. 
I watch him do and say curious and wondrous things. I hear him say, I am living water. Do I drink? Do I dare drink? Yes, I have been the favored one to see him grow into a man. What else will he do? Every step he takes seems to be filled with wonder. My baby, my boy, this man, my God. Yes. I look back on that night some 30 years ago now. And I remember holding him close, so thankful to be his mother, knowing this would be no ordinary child. I am still thirsty, yes, but I do believe I know where to find the water. What is it that you are thirsting for in this Advent season? Or maybe even more specifically, in this beginning of December, December 1st, what is it that you are thirsting for? Isaiah in uh, chapter 43 offered those words to us that the wild animals honor him and the jackals and the ostriches for I give water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert. I love this restorative phrase. Now it might sound better to us if it were the middle of August and we were in the middle of a heat wave and that cool refreshing water would wash over us. But we all know what it is to thirst. We all know what it is to be in a proverbial wilderness and feeling that we are on dry and acred land. I want to encourage you to find Jesus, this child born in a manger, as your source of water, of restoration, of healing. Isaiah 43 starts the chapter in a little bit of a different way as well. And I want you to hear a little bit of that as well. Starting in verse 1, Isaiah says, but now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the waters and rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel your Savior. Who is Jesus to you tonight? I want to hope then and pray that he is your personal Lord and Savior. And if you find yourself overwhelmed at the to-do list at the beginning of December, take some time, spend it with Jesus, reprioritize what is there, and reflect on these words of what child is this to me? that is born in a manger and that I am working so hard in my home with my family to prepare for. Prioritize, reflect, and be restored by the healing waters of God. If there are joys or concerns that you would like to share in the feed, I would love for you to be able to do that at this time, uh, to share them so that we can lift them up together and rejoice uh, in those things that need to be celebrated and pray over those things that need to be prayed over, knowing that God has that restorative power, that he is with us, and that he will bring us to a good and wonderful land. Let us pray. Eternal God, on this first week of Advent, we come before you seeking, seeking restoration, seeking wholeness, seeking your water that you offer to us that we thirst so much for as we go through the wildernesses of this life. Lord, we pray that as we prepare our hearts and our homes for your birth, that your light, your one true light, will come and replenish us in every way possible. We pray this in the matchless name of Jesus, who is our everlasting Lord and Savior. Amen. 
I can't wait to see you all next week as we continue on and hear the story of Joseph and our series, What Child Is This? Again, remember our worship services online are at 9 a.m. Sunday morning here on Facebook Live, 9 o'clock at Cult, and 10.30 at RCV Church. We would so love to have you all in attendance. You are all invited. If this video has been helpful to you at all, please hit that like button or heart button or button or whatever it might be, and uh, make sure to share it as well. It's a really easy way to share the good news of Jesus Christ to the world around us. So with that, brothers and sisters, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday evening, and I can't wait to see you all Sunday morning. Good night, everyone.